Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss about perspective projections. Here initially take what is perspective view. After that, we will see what are the main terms we are using for doing the perspective projections. Here perspective view means whatever three dimensional diagram we are seeing the object, it is called perspective projection. So here if you see the definition, Perspective projection is a three-dimensional representation of an object on a plane as it is pursued by the human eye from a particular point. So from one particular point, we are seeing the object. Let us take this is the observer. From this point, we are seeing one object. Okay, like this small object I am taking roughly here. So whatever three-dimensional diagram is coming from our eye, that view is called perspective view. Okay, if you see the road, lengthy road, from one point it is looking like small road. It is also called perspective view. I will show some example from the net images. Watch it. Here next take whatever view we are seeing from one particular point this point may be here or here or here from any point whatever 3d we can see that view is called perspective view perspective projection means we are doing the same diagram in the sheet by using the drawing instrument so perspective projection means it is a geometrical method of obtaining images which are similar to the photographs taken by the camera so by using camera we are taking the snaps okay that pictures are called perspective projections okay so those are the three dimensional diagram only from camera we are taking the pictures those pictures are called perspective projections let us take what are the important points of drawing perspective projections let us take initially important terms in it here this is the observer okay let us take here we are watching from this position so here observer is standing one plane here okay one horizontal plane like this he is standing on a horizontal plane okay so this plane is called ground plane so observer is standing on one horizontal plane that plane is called ground plane remember this name ground plane okay so here one horizontal plane next one more horizontal plane here it is a imaginary plane here one more horizontal plane these three horizontal planes are parallel to each other. Let us take one more horizontal plane here. It is the imaginary plane. Okay. So this plane is passing through observer eye. Okay. This horizontal plane is passing through eye of this observer. Okay. That's why this plane is called horizontal plane. Okay. This is the ground plane. This is the horizontal plane. Here it, it is the observer eye. We are calling it is a station point. Observer I is a station point. So he is seeing this horizontal plane which is passing through his eyes. It is called horizontal plane. Okay. So after these two horizontal planes, one more horizontal plane is here. It is called axillary ground plane. Okay. This axillary ground plane is parallel to the ground plane. Okay. So these three are the horizontal planes. Let us take this plane okay this plane is vertical plane it is perpendicular to the ground 90 degrees okay this angle is 90 so this plane is called picture plane okay whatever he, the observer is seeing on this plane so this plane is called picture plane okay so this picture plane is vertical plane and perpendicular to the horizontal okay whatever observer is seeing on this plane okay that view we are doing in the perspective projections Okay, it is a front view. So object may be on the ground, okay, or here or here at any place. Object is from the observer eye. We can take the object at any place. Okay. After this, one vertical plane, one more plane is passing through this like this. Okay. It is also the vertical plane, imaginary plane. It is also passing through the observer eye. Okay. It is perpendicular to both horizontal plane and vertical plane. Correct. If you see here this plane, it is making 90 degrees to this plane, vertical plane 
and also 90 degrees to this horizontal plane okay so this angle should be 90 now here this plane is called center plane okay so this center plane is passing through observer eye okay and uh, perpendicular to both horizontal plane and this vertical plane this vertical plane is called picture plane okay, here the observer eye is called station point so distance from this picture plane and the observer this distance is called horizontal distance so these are the important terms we are using in the perspective views so these are the important points or important terms in the perspective projections let us check uh, what uh, lines we are doing for doing the perspective projections in next classes by using drawing instruments we will do the diagram in this class we will see what the lines initially we are doing initially we are doing this line okay so this line is uh, on the ground plane uh, so that's why this line is called ground line so ground plane why we are taking means observer is standing here okay so this is called gl so if you are taking one example here okay for doing the perspective projection so gl we are doing in all the diagrams gl means ground line after ground line we are taking the this is a ground line okay after that this line we are taking this line is on this horizontal plane okay so which is this line horizontal line hl after gl okay we are taking the hl let us check here so this is the hl after these two lines we will take the picture plane okay where the picture plane is coming picture plane is nothing but this vertical plane okay so here we are taking above the picture plane top view is coming below the hl front view is coming we will see how these diagrams are coming in the next classes here s is a station point in the top view h dash is the station point in the front view so station point means observer eye all these dimensions will be given in the question given question just see how we are doing the ground line hl and pp so these are the important lines we are doing in the perspective projections if you like this lecture hit the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching